Hey Masters, thanks for joining us and welcome to another episode of Path to Mastery. This week we've got Victoria Kennedy on the show for you and she's going to talk to us about being the calm in the storm. You know, all the ways to bring value to clients right now where there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of reluctance. So she's going to share some really great strategies and she was featured in Inman um, recently uh, with one of their uh, large campaigns that went out. Anyway, she did a really, really great job with it, and I reached out to her, and she's going to share some of those things with us today. So excited about that. Also excited for May 7th. Sign up right now if you want to pause the podcast and go register at davidihill.com forward slash event. Again, davidihill.com forward slash event. We have an, a webinar coming up this Thursday. And it's going to be crushing real estate from home, my friends. We have some rock stars on this uh, panel. And we have Sean Gorse, who closed almost 500 houses in, 2000, in 2019. We have Tina Bellavo, who also uh, has a team that does about $50 million in volume. And then we have Jim Gray, who is a real estate coach and has coached some of the top agents in the industry. And all three of them are going to be there sharing the strategy and the things they're teaching and sharing and doing with their clients right now uh, so that we can crush real estate from home. So really excited for that. Again, this is Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Just go to davidihill.com forward slash event. Get registered for that. We'll see you Thursday and enjoy the rest of the show. Hey, what's up, Masters? Welcome to another episode of Path to Mastery. And today, my friends, we are with Victoria Kennedy. Victoria, how's it going? It's going great. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing well myself. Just uh, in here, just trying to be a resource. I hate the word try, but just being a resource for our clients and just you know, getting stuff going. I mean, it's, 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 it's a grind right now, to be honest with you. I think we're all feeling it, it though, right? It is. Yeah. It is. It's, it's trying to be innovative and being creative and staying top of mind, you know, in a, in a world time that none of us have ever experienced before. So yeah, interesting time. Interesting. Yeah. You're not kidding. <laughs> I've, I, everybody I've spoken with, uh, it doesn't matter if they're 80 years old or, or 20 years old, they've never experienced anything like this. And uh, it's just interesting. So, you know, what, what caught my attention was, uh, was an article that you wrote on Inman. And I reached out to you about a week ago. And uh, I thought it was, it was great. It was well written. And it was really on how to be an expert right now. You know, the expert that your clients need, because right now it's really just about, because I don't have a crystal ball. Um, you mm-hmm. may have, one, no, but I certainly <laughs> don't. And so I can, all I can really do is just give people the best information that, that I can based on the information I'm getting and, and you know, obviously some, some opinion in there. But um, I thought this was a really good article, well-written. And, and um, so, yeah, that's why I reached out to you. So um, I want to I talk to you about that today. So thanks, first off, for being here. And do you want to give people a little bit of your background? Just uh, give us the, you know, who, who's Victoria Kennedy and, and why, should, why should our listeners... Um, why shouldn't they just shut the podcast off now? Uh, absolutely. Thanks for having me, number one. And I am, yes, Victoria Kennedy, and I'm the CEO of Atlas Real Estate, and we are an online lead generation company. Uh, I have been in marketing my entire life. I love the real estate community. I've been nominated, actually, to be a 2020 Inman brand ambassador, which is very exciting. Cool. I've written articles for Inman. Um, I'm very involved in the real estate community. I love it. I love to help realtors as much as I possibly can. Um, and that's why I wrote this article of just different mm. things that have been working for myself that have been working for my realtors. I wanted to share that information with everyone else so it can empower them to also reach out to their community and be seen as the expert in their area. Yeah. Well, I love that. So I'm going to go through this article. Um, and, and, you know, for our listeners, if you, if you're not listen, read, you know, subscribe to Inman, I, I would definitely check it out. And this is a great article. And, and, you know, and it's, like you said, it's, it's all about bringing the most clarity and information right now to people, because everybody's, uh, we're kind of all in this together. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. Mm-hmm. And, and, um, and that's what this is about. So the first uh, point you made was 
go all in, right? Um, mm-hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, it's actually very fantastic time to go all in for marketing. And I know that sounds counterintuitive. You're thinking, Victoria, no, this is not a good time. I'm uncertain. I'm scared. I don't know what the market's going to be doing. Guess who just pulled out of all of their advertising, right? iBuyer, Zillow, Redfin, Mm. all of the big names just completely stopped advertising because they can't do home purchases anymore because coronavirus, they can't go into people's homes, blah, 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 right? That means there's a huge blue ocean where it used to be red, where you can't compete against the advertising budgets of Zillow's and OfferPad. You can't do that. Now you can. Now is the best time because the big dogs Mm. are no longer advertising right now. So we're seeing, for my agents, I'm seeing the lowest cost per lead I've ever seen. I've ever seen in years because there is so much room in the market. The guys, realtors, you are so needed right now right? People are scared. People don't know who to turn to. They can't go to Zillow anymore. They can't go to iBuyer anymore. And they're thinking, oh, is this not a good time? What's going on in the economy? Why can't I go to these big guys? They need someone to say, this is what's going on. Don't worry. I'm going to be here. Maybe they won't buy or sell this month. You're establishing that relationship now. You're establishing that authority now, right? That's why now is a good time to go all in because in the summer, When there is that boom, when everyone is back to work, they're going to go to you and they're going to have their houses bought and sold by you. So I I know we're we're hearing a lot of message right now about cut back, cut costs, Mm -hmm. cut, you know, cut, 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 which I I think there's definitely some, there's, there's a need to do that for unnecessary stuff. Um, And, you know, obviously it doesn't cost anything except time to grab the phones and call people and shoot videos and things like that. You're saying do that and maybe double down on some Facebook advertising, double down on some, is that, is that what I'm understanding or? Absolutely. What I'd like my realtors to think about, if you're a realtor at home listening, I want you to think about the long game, right? And that's what all real estate is. It's always been a long-term sales cycle, always will be. I want you to think about the long-term game because this is not going to last forever. People are always going to want to buy. They're always going to want to sell their homes and they're always going to need a realtor to help them do that. Right now, everybody is home. They're bored. They're, mm. They want to look at homes because, you know, we missed the, the spring boom. We didn't have the spring boom. So we're going to have a summer boom, right? Not a summer boom, then a fall boom. You need to be thinking long term. People are going to want to be seen listing now so that when the time comes to buy or sell, they're going to be ready, right? They're going to need a realtor to send them those listings. Why don't you be that person, right? Maybe you won't get a close in the next month or two. But you're setting and planting those seeds because you're the smart realtor thinking long term, knowing that this is going to blow over, knowing that people are going to eventually need to buy or sell. And you've already Mm. planted those seeds now so that you're the person who gets and reaps the benefit when the time comes to buy. When the time comes. Yeah. You want to be the person that they think about when they're ready to pull the trigger. You know, interestingly enough, I was um, I, I interviewed Grant Cardone yesterday Oh and, wow! And, yeah, he's he's awesome. And anyway, but one thing I got from that interview, which um, uh, for the last three weeks, just I built my business on Fizzbills and expired. So beyond just doing podcasts, I I actually am in the trenches in in real estate. Nice. And but I've been in this kind of this like passive, <laughs> calling everybody. Oh my God! I hope you're okay. And and of course mm-hmm. we want to do that, but kind of not really closing for any business. Just being like, well, yeah, maybe now's not the time. But one thing Grant had had kind of got me thinking was, listen, you, they need to, if they want to sell their house, now's the time. Mm-hmm. Waiting mm-hmm. two months, mm-hmm. not the time. And the way yeah. he said it, he goes, your house is turning into a liability. If you have equity in your house, if you have money mm-hmm. in your house, if if you're selling, and anyway, it just created some. It changed it. It changed my um, I don't know my my thought my thought yeah. pattern about gave you some urgency. What I'm saying to me. It did. It created some urgency, right? And mm-hmm. I normally am the urgency guy, but I've kind of, I mean, anyway, the episode comes out tomorrow. Hopefully everybody will listen to it, but I, I just thought it was really cool. So yeah. yes, be in touch with people and, you know, don't like, like what I was doing is just be like, oh my God, I hope everything's yeah, so great. Rest and on your laurels. When you you're ready, you won't be here. You know, like if it's two months, no, we need to create some urgency now that let's figure mm-hmm. this out. Let's, mm-hmm. we, here's, here's our options, there's videos, there's, I just met with a guy uh, earlier today. I, I, I went to his house. Um, uh, he, I walked around the outside with him. We, we had good rapport. Uh, and then he did a video of the inside and sent it to me and, yep. and it was awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, um, so, I know yeah. what you mean. The thing is, there are always going to be creative solutions and there's always going to be realtors out there who are hungry, who will find the solution and will own the market. There'll be people mm. who will say, oh, they'll take this as an excuse and they'll say, oh, you know, the whole world's inside. So I'm just going to sit inside and not spend any money because I'm scared. But then there's going to be those people who are going to say, no, I'm going to find a way to be creative. I'm going to do virtual open houses. I'm like what you just said. You know, you're going to say, I'm going to have him make a video and then I'm going to post a video to sell those listings, right? There's creative solutions. What do they always say? Where do the most millionaires ever came from during the Great Depression, right? Mm. What's, you know, misery from someone else. Someone sees that as an opportunity, opportunity to grind and to own the market. And right now, just like what Grant said, just like what you said, just like what I'm saying, there has never been a better time. Never will there be a time when Zillow's not advertising. Never will there be a time the iBuyer is not advertising. Now is the time. People, they can't go to these big guys. They need a realtor. You need to be online right now. Build up that pipeline. So when summer yeah, comes, uh, you are dominating, you know? Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. And yeah, and you, I think you said it, the, you know, the, the, the Warren Buffetts of the world, <laughs> when they're selling, everybody else is buying. When everybody else yep. is buying, they're selling, right? Yep. So let's jump to number two. And we kind of talked a little bit about this, but um, being the authority, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes. talk, talk to us about that. So th that's just, you're the, the deliverer of the information. Oh, yeah. This is very important right now, especially for your sphere, right? So there are people out there who want to buy or sell. Obviously, they miss the spring room. They're sitting at home thinking, well, I thought I was going to sell my house by now, but now I don't know what to do. How many times, mm. if you're a realtor, do you see someone post and say, oh my gosh, my friend just had their house sold by another realtor? And then you say, what gives? And then, oh, I forgot yeah. you're a realtor, right? You're not staying yeah. top of mind. You're not staying top of mind. And this is the best way to stay top of mind. Be creating these videos saying, hey, guys, you know what? It's David. You know what's going on in the economy. I know you probably have a lot of questions about the coronavirus. And if it's a good time to buy or sell, let me just walk you through a couple of things. You talk about the market. You talk about what's going on. And then you just say, if you have any questions, just let me know. Just let me know. This way they know, hey, you know what? David's the authority in his market. I can go to him when I have questions because then guess who they go to when they want to buy or sell? Guess who they start referring their friends to? David, who keeps posting videos. David, who keeps posting educational material. David, who doesn't seem to be afraid of the coronavirus. David, who seems to be thriving. You know, everything that he's posting is positive. Everything that he's posting is he's making it through this with flying colors. People are attracted to other people who are successful that they deem successful. If you're just sitting at home posting, oh, it's just terrible. No, do you really think someone's going to come to you and say, will you buy, you know, some house when you're just posting that life is terrible right now? They're not. They're attracted to success. You need to be that figure mm -hmm. of success, that calm in the storm. Because people right now are scared and they're looking for yeah. an authority. They're looking for a leader. You need to be that leader in your market right now. Because if you are, I can promise you, they're going to start sending you referrals. They're going to start thinking about you, about whether or not they should buy or sell. And then you get those deals. Masters, we're going to get you right back to the show. I want to let you know about a really awesome webinar we have coming up. And it's all about getting you back into production. Because what's happening right now, you know, the gates are going to open soon and there's definitely going to be a frenzy uh, you know it's, it's almost like we're coming out of the winter right so what we want to do is start prepping people so that when that happens obviously you're doing things now but there's going to be a huge frenzy of business coming i want to share with you some how some of the top producers on the planet are doing this so we have sean gorse who closed just under 500 houses in 2019 uh, we have tina bellavo who runs a $50 million team. Uh, we have uh, Jim Gray, who's a production ninja productivity coach. So they're going to be sharing the strategies right now that they're doing, not just to set themselves up so that when this happens, they get their massive piece of the pie, uh, but also what they're going to be doing when the, the doors, <laughs> I guess, or the gates finally open. So that's coming soon, my friends. May 7th, sign up. Go to davidihill.com forward slash event. Sign up. If for some reason the link's not there, just try back in a day or so. Again, it's May 7th. Or email me if you like, david at davidihill.com, and I will get you signed up. Don't forget the I. Again, davidihill.com forward slash event. 
Guys, I'll see you soon. You rock. Yeah, I, I personally can't think of a, another time in my career, and I've been doing this for about almost 18 years, that I have went so deep into my database and reconnected with people mm -hmm. I haven't spoken with in 10 years, and they're grateful. And, nice. and when we this first started, there's a couple of local attorneys that were sending information, and basically I was kind of repurposing their info <laughs> and Hey. Put together and sending it out to everybody. Yeah. And, yeah. But again, it was the same, I was the authority because hey, this is this is what Dave's sending. The, here's some solutions. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is going on, but here are some options that yep. we do have right now. Right. Exactly. So that with what Grant said, like, listen, just it, it, and it's not the right time for everybody. So if you're listening to this, don't say I'm not saying hey, go make so you know somebody 70 years old that you know is not in the right situation, put their house on the market. No. If it makes sense, be the solution. Be have options. Tell let people know there are ways to work selling houses right now, but they're just different ways Absolutely. than it was a month and a half ago. So, all right, awesome. So number three, it says see the economy as working for your buyers. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is we're seeing a lot of volatility in the stock market right now, right? We're seeing a lot of moving money moving out of the stock market. Here's the thing: money is like a vacuum. It doesn't like to be in one it needs it needs to find a hole right it's going to find an outlet right all the money's coming out of the stock market it's not disappearing it just needs a new place to be put in that's going to go into real estate because that's the number one best asset that there is right it's stable it's consistent land they're not making any more of it people go to real estate right mm. i believe that that's what we're going to start seeing i'm not afraid when i see the stock market because my money is not in the stock market it's in real estate because i know that's what people turn to during crisis right? This is going to lead to more. I see a ton of investors coming to me as being like, I want to flip, get me, get me motivated sellers, right? Because people are, they're smart. They're realizing now is a great time. Now is a great time to pick up these sellers, to pick up these homes, right? The money is going to go in real estate. I'm seeing that it's going to be a big boom in the summer, right? Because of mm. this very reason, because money has to go somewhere, right? It's going to go into real estate. I don't think it's, we're going to have a housing crash like we did in 2007. Eight. You know, that's not what it's looking like you know what i'm seeing is it's actually going to be more maybe not like a boom boom but people that wanted to buy in the spring and start buying people that wouldn't sure. have necessarily bought before because their money was in the stock market now they want to take it out of the stock market and put it in a second product right interesting yeah so okay so that's that's your that's your thought process and, mm -hmm. and i'm just curious that's why i'm at so I personally think that what's going to happen is we're seeing in our, in our MLS that approximately 70 to 80% of people have taken their houses off the market, withdrawn mm -hmm. status, like they just don't want to deal with it right now. And I feel like everybody's just going to, at the same time, as soon as they yes. say, okay, the doors are yes. open, uh -huh. the market's going to get <laughs> flooded. And yep. what will happen is there's going to be buyers, obviously, but I feel like the inventory is going to get going to get flooded. And, and my thought process is the last three or four years, the reason the market's been so strong is because there's been no inventory. Yeah. So what? Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts when it comes to that? Like, I agree, but I I, I just don't know if I have to see the same picture as you six or eight months from now or a year from now. Yeah. Well, the thing about that I see, and you're completely right, there has been low inventory, and I think we're going to see a lot of high inventory. But I think that's going to be great for buyers and sellers right? It's not just going to be great for one or the other. I, I see it's going to be great for both. And I think that there's going to be a more even playing field because as we saw, we've had 10 years of great economy, right? And we've seen the housing. I mean, we were knew we were due for a correction. The prices are mm. insane. We knew we were due for a correction. And I think this is going to be a correction, right? But I think that's going to benefit both buyers and sellers, right? Buyers are finally going to get their fair price. Sellers, They've been waiting to go on the market, so it's going to be a more fair offer for the buyers. So I think that in the two, maybe sellers are not going to get as high, but maybe, you know, that'll even things out yeah. so that the buyers get a better deal. Well, I guess it depends how you look at it, because if, <laughs> if you're a buyer's agent, then yeah, it's great for your buyers. If you're more of a seller's agent, then maybe, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like for me, I, I've always had a team, so mm -hmm. I can talk to you about how great it is having a team, but I can also yeah. talk to you about how... 
how great it is to have be an independent agent, right? So yeah, I, I, I all right. Well, let's, you, let's, let, let's, listen, it might not be as good as the price for the sell for the listing agents, but look, they might get more listings. Like you said, I agree with you. I think it's going to be like floodgates, and then everyone's mm. going to want to put their houses on listings. So maybe they'll have to turn over more deals, but I think those deals will finally be there now. Do you see yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I I agree with you. I think it's gonna. Yeah, listen, no matter what, I've been doing this in in two thousand. 2006, seven, we pivot, we shifted gears, we, we went into REO business, we did short, hey, whatever's next, that's what we're focused on. And right now, honestly, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly yep. what's next. I, I certainly don't know, but we're every day just, you know, networking, masterminding, and trying to figure out what direction to go. Um, so obviously, interest rates are historically low. So I know that's one of the points in your article. Mm-hmm. Um do you think it's going to stay like that or why, why should people care about that? What, what are your well, thoughts on that? Well, I mean, that? that's great that they're low. They should buy now, right? You're never going to see mm. this again. I mean, the economy, that's the whole reason why the Fed lowered the rates is they want people to be buying. They want to kickstart the economy. And honestly, I think that's going to continue, right? Yeah. I think those low rates are going to continue to kickstart the economy, right? So this is a great time to buy. they have to, right? Yeah, of course. And it's like, that's wonderful. Great. This is great for real estate. And real estate is a huge part of the economy. Take advantage of it and tell your, the most important thing about this is don't just keep this information to yourself, guys. Share this. These are great video ideas. These are great post ideas. You know, people want to know because, you know, you're the expert in real estate, right? They want to hear from you what it is they should be doing. What's going on with the market? They don't know right? They want to see a video from you. They want to see a post from you. This is why I mentioned all these things in the article. These are just all these things that you can mention in your videos to your clients, in your literature, emails, social media posts. These are the things that I want to tell you that you can share with your buyers and sellers to give them peace of mind because you want to be seen as the leader, the authority. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes like I'm looking at your article now, you know, you, we just have to remind people how cheap money is right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you also talk about the stimulus package, which yes. this is, again, this is just good information. I w- I'm going to, I'm going to attach your article as a, a link in my show notes. So everybody Great. can download it and get a copy of it. Um, so yeah, definitely check this out. You talk about the stimulus package, there's some information on that. And then you have your, your, coronavirus action steps, which over communicate mm-hmm. um, resources for your clients, uh, time to go on the offense. I think those are things that we talked about. Yes. But what, any, anything else that, um, what, what am I missing? What, what else should we be talking about right now to our, I think to the, our clients? The most important thing is to stay top of mind. You know, we, we hear that a lot. And before coronavirus, we heard that a lot, but now it's most important because where, you know, where are your deals? You're just stuck at home. Okay. Take this opportunity to be on the offensive. Like I say in my article, take this opportunity to grow. If you think that you can't grow your business right now, you're sadly Mm. mistaken because look at you, David, like you're doing a bunch of different stuff. Like you're finding a way to be creative. The people who find a way to be creative right now during the coronavirus are going to reap the rewards in the summer and fall when people start buying and selling, when this lockdown is lifted. Right. I want my agents, I want any realtors listening to be that person to start thinking creatively. You know, for my clients, we do engagement campaigns. So we <laughs> take their list of their sphere of influence, we put it into Facebook and we make them a video. And so we get people to engage that way. Right. It's a message campaign. Mm-hmm. So people just sending them Facebook messages if they have any questions. And we see great and great engagement. People being, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I didn't know. Oh, I'm so glad that you're, you know, and that's exactly what you want. You're staying top of mind. You know, you're becoming the leader and the authority in your community, right? There's so many things that you can do right now. If you can't invest in marketing right now, I get it. There are courses out there. I'm creating a course right now to show agents Mm. how to do their own marketing. You know, you can find a way. What I want you to do, if you're just stuck at home, find a way. If it's not my course, someone else's, learn how to do your own ads. Figure out what's the best video software. It doesn't have to be fancy. You're just, your people, your community, they need to hear from you. Find a way to be that leader. I love it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Hey, listen, I just want to say, I appreciate you spending some time with us today. Um, again, it's a great article. I'm going to add it to the show notes. Everybody should definitely check it out. And, um, how do people get in touch with you, uh, Victoria? Oh, please find me on Facebook, you know, facebook.com slash Victoria J Kennedy. Uh, you can go to our website. It's go 
And if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see a free download for a guide I created, How to Thrive in Real Estate in the Time of the Coronavirus. So that is basically an expanded version of this article. So if you're not subscribed to Inman and you can't read the article, go ahead and download my guide for free. And it'll give you all the action steps we talked about today. And it's a little more expanded. Like I said, there's quite a few more action steps. So again, it's a free guide. Feel free to download it. Um, and yeah, connect with your audience. Become that leader. Go all in in your marketing. I love it. Anything, uh, anything I should have asked that I maybe didn't ask or what? <laughs> you know, the only thing I would say is, like I, like I mentioned in this article, find a way to be the leader. Find the way to go all in in marketing. If you're scared right now, if you, should, if you should or shouldn't market, think about next year, what you wish you would have done, right? Because in the summer, I'm going to tell you what, all the agents who invested in marketing now, they're the ones that are going to be closing deals because they will have been nurturing their buyers mm. and sellers this entire time. So when lockdown gets up, they're getting all these deals because their pipeline is full of people they've been nurturing during this time. If you start in the summer, it's too late. Yeah. Right. Good so point. Yeah. don't be afraid. Go in now and think about yourself in December and think, what do I wish I would have done? Because guess what? This is going to blow over. This too shall pass. Everything passes. Where do you want to be by December? How much money do you want on your bank account? How many closings do you want? Right. How are you going to make that happen? Start thinking about that right now. Awesome. Well, listen, I just want to say I appreciate you taking some time with us and thank you and for everybody listening again, um, check our show notes, get in touch with Victoria and be in touch with your clients and don't be like me. Don't just let them <laughs> off the hook. If, if they need to sell, let's, let's help them figure out a solution right now to sell. Hey, but this, po this podcast, I, I, and I'd rather you end, like we'll end on you sharing something. So it's called Path to Mastery. What does that mean to you? Oh, I love that. Path to mastery is taking consistent steps every single day to be the best, best version of yourself. That's what it means to me, right? So wherever you are, whatever that means, if that means just every day you woke up and you made your bed today and that was a victory for you, awesome, right? But it means taking consistent steps every single day to be the person that you want and believe yourself to be. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I <laughs> Thank you for having better. me. I, yeah. I, I really appreciate being on your show. Thank you. 100%. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> Masters, hey, before you jump on to what's next, I just want to thank you for checking out the show. And if you like what you heard, please give me a review on iTunes. It helps tremendously. It helps us get guests. And it's, it's, I just so appreciate it. Uh, and if you want, send me an email and I will read your review right here on the podcast. Email me, david at davidihill.com. Again, I want to thank you. Uh, check out our sponsors. I appreciate our sponsors. Without them, we can't do this. Vulcan7.com for your expired fizzbills, all that stuff. It's CRM, uh, Vulcan7.com forward slash path to mastery. Again, David's free book. Get yourself a free audio book. And health and nutrition, you know, is number one to me. Uh, so check out AdvoCare products, which are tremendous products. As a matter of fact, Patrick Mahomes uses the products. So go to LiveLongerSmarter.com. Again, LiveLongerSmarter.com to check out health and nutrition products. My friends, again, I appreciate you listening to the show. You rock.